hey guys it's ariel welcome back to another video so today we find ourselves in my favorite store the home depot and what we're going to be doing today is basically uh we're going to be looking at some light fixtures some flooring some tile and we're going to be choosing some doors for the main entrance for for the closets for the bathroom and so on and so forth so just come with me and let's enjoy the ride all right so we're here in the lighting section we're gonna go through this section and this section which has the recess lights so where is it at this one something like this it's nice but it's also expensive it's 89 dollars for this so now there's a couple more right here oh that's the same one i don't really like this one not my favorite all right guys so now we're looking at recess lights i've never installed any recess lighting before so if you guys have any, have any advice of you know like which ones are the best because there's a lot of brands and i'm going to be installing a lot of recess lights in the bedroom in the bathroom in the kitchen in the hallway in the entrance so just comment down below which one is is you know the better option commercial electric there's halo and there's a couple other ones so and they all look pretty dope but they are pretty expensive for example this one is like oh this is just a, this is just a kit the actual lights themselves they're like 45 dollars 30 30 to 45 dollars and i'm gonna install maybe like at least 12 lights so that's gonna be pretty expensive holy shit so now we find ourselves in the flooring section we're gonna see what floor is going to benefit us both in quality and in price because everything is pretty expensive right now and i gotta decide whether i put laminate flooring this would actually work this, these are waterproof i want to store something that's waterproof so we got laminate flooring and then we got the option to put tile but tile is expensive so now we're gonna be going around and just looking to see which one you know which one we like and then we're gonna see how much is gonna I, I already know how many square feet we got so i'm gonna estimate to see how much we're gonna end up wasting just in flooring because the install we're gonna do so that's that's something different but now we also got to see if we want to install hardwood flooring now the price per square foot varies but for actual actual hard hardwood flooring it's like a dollar and fifty more per square foot because they're like five dollars a square foot and laminate flooring is about three three fifty square foot so we're gonna go around and we're gonna check to see which one we like and then we'll come back to the video to see which one we chose <laughs> okay so we ended up finding the flooring that we like and we like this one right here we like this dark oak and it's three dollars with 80 cents per square feet so the whole box is gonna equal to like 81 dollars and as i was doing the, the math we're gonna need about 400 square feet and so that's gonna be probably about 15 to 1600 dollars just in flooring and honestly i don't really like them a lot i need a 32 inch vanity and i want something either like a light gray or like a light or like a dark blue and uh something like this but it needs to be smaller it needs to be a 32 inch one and i'm sure they have one let me see oh my head look. actually they don't they have 30 they're pretty expensive so we gotta see but they're pretty nice all right so now we're gonna check out the doors originally i was going to install like i was going to choose like two to three barn doors for example these are pretty these are pretty cool so i want to choose one not exactly this one but something similar for the entrance of the bedroom and for the bathroom and for the closets and all the other doors that we need we're just gonna choose like these simple ones right here and then we're gonna maybe paint them or add something a cool design to them for the boiler room for the closet we're gonna probably well most likely use either this one these seven doors or these which are like they fold as you can see but it's between like these or those we basically went over a couple things 
we chose a couple materials that we're gonna that we're gonna use and we estimated how much about how much money we're going to need but after all this we got hungry so we're gonna end up going to smash burger i haven't eaten there he has so we're gonna go and we're gonna try it out well, i'm about to smash your brands <laughs> let's go oh there's not a lot of people i'm gonna go in not a lot all right so we ended up getting our food we ordered some fries and we got two burgers and we're just waiting for our shakes all right then all right let's go all right so they spelled my name wrong but oh well all right so the good thing is that smash burgers was right in front of home depot and now we're gonna head to the car and we're gonna try it this is my first time eating it so let's hope it's good let's go all right, so here are our shakes. Yo, show them the fucked up part. It's fucking the... uneven, bro. <laughs> Damn. Uneven. Oh, well, let's hope they're good, though. Yes. Right, let's take out the burgers. There you go. Smash. Wait, which one is without the tomatoes? Remember, mine is the tomato. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here we go. He's gonna go for his first try of smash burgers. Smash burgers with two meats, two bones, one at the top, one at the bottom, <laughs> lettuce, no tomatoes, no, tomato. no pickles, no onions, cause I don't know, I gotta work on that, but yeah, here we go. Go, go. Mmm. Hey, yo. How is it? It's juicy. You like it? Now it's dying to turn. Alright, so this time I did get onions, I got tomato, yeah, man. and it looks pretty good. That's a fat burger. Alright, so here we go. One to ten. Nine. Nine? That's pretty yeah, high. Yeah, because I hope it was bigger. 